Hi, my name is Jem Uxel, and this is a short video for our paper, Particle Merging and Splitting. This work was mainly done by my student, Nia Trung, and our co-authors are Chakrit Wachoropas, Josh Levine, and Mike Kirby. In this paper, we introduce the merging and splitting method that can robustly handle collisions in particle-based simulations and allows coupling different simulations for solids and fluids. It can successfully handle challenging scenarios such as solid fracture simulation induced by fluid interaction. Now let me show you why we need the new collision handling method that we present in our paper. When two particles collide, probably the most common approach for handling collisions is to apply some force to separate them. Now the magnitude of this force depends on how much the particles penetrate, as in the case of penalty forces, or the distance between the particles if we're using something like an SPH-based force formulation. Now regardless of what force formulation we use, we're going to have to convert a distance measure into a force. And that requires specifying a stiffness parameter. Unfortunately, as you will see in a moment, there is no one universal stiffness parameter that is good for handling all cases. Now consider a hard ball falling onto a softer membrane as we simulate here using a mass spring system. And I'm just showing the cross section of the simulation here and I will show you three different stiffness parameters for handling the collisions, ranging by a factor of 10. Notice that here, weak stiffness gives us the best result, and stronger stiffness leads to instabilities. However, if we give some initial velocity to the ball, a stronger stiffness is needed to avoid penetration. The same story holds using an SPH-based force formulation, where stronger stiffness is unstable, but needed when we have high velocity impact. Another common approach is impulse-based collisions, where we directly modify the velocities of colliding particles. Here, there is no artificial stiffness parameter, but as you will see in a moment, particle-level impulses are not sufficient for properly handling collisions. Here's the same example with the same ball with the two different initial velocities, and neither case is properly handled by impulse-based collisions. Our merging and splitting method, on the other hand, can robustly handle these and all other cases we've tested without requiring any parameter tuning. Here's how merging and splitting works. When two particles come into contact, we merge them into a metaparticle using the principles of inelastic collision. Then we perform time step integration using the metaparticle in place of the two original colliding particles. At the end of the time step, we split the metaparticle into the original particles. Our splitting process guarantees that the velocities of the colliding particles are not towards deeper penetration. You can find the mathematical details in the paper. The advantage of our merging and splitting scheme over the alternatives is that it allows the neighboring particles of the colliding particles to exchange momentum and energy through the metaparticle for the duration of the time step. The robustness of merging and splitting is particularly valuable for simulations of brittle fracture using methods like paradynamics. In such simulations, penetrations or instabilities of the alternative approaches you see here often lead to catastrophic results with obviously unrealistic animations or numerical explosions. Merging and splitting, on the other hand, produces plausible results without any stability issues. We can use merging and splitting for coupling different simulation methods as well. In this example, we're using SPH with explicit integration for fluid particles and mass spring systems and paradynamics with implicit integration for solids. This allows simulating fracture due to fluid interaction. Here's a simple example demonstrating the importance of robust collision handling for solid fluid coupling. With force-based formulations, the initial high-velocity impact requires a stiff collision response, but the excessive stiffness leads to instabilities later on. The impulse-based collisions fail altogether in this example, as they are unable to prevent penetration. Our merging and splitting method, on the other hand, provides robust and stable collisions. Merging and splitting can be used with various particle-based simulation systems. Here is an example using FLIP for fluid simulation, coupled with paradynamics for solids. I hope you enjoy this brief overview of merging and splitting. You can find more details and other examples in the paper and the paper video. Thanks for watching.